Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at ADW Cleaner, a program designed to remove adware, potentially unwanted programs, toolbars, uh, homepage hijackers and the like. This is more of a niche tool, probably something you'd run after malware bytes. It's portable, double click it, run it, hit scan and while you do I'll mention a few other things. For example, I would probably go into my control panel and look to uninstall stuff. I've intentionally infected my computer here, so I know for a fact that I didn't want that, 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 that. All those programs all came off of one thing I installed to infect myself with. I want them all gone, so you're going to probably use something like IOBit uninstall and remove them. Try and get them out as clean as you can. Then you're going to want to come back with this program and take a look to see if anything's left over. That way you absolutely get it out of here. If you run this now, it might remove all your problems like your services. You can see here folders, shortcuts, tasks, registries, but it may not uninstall the program. It's kind of a catch-22. If you run this, it won't uninstall it. If you uninstall it, it won't uninstall. So then you use this. Hopefully that makes sense. I know all the geeks understand it, but I try and warn people, if you don't know what you're doing with this, you want to be a little more careful simply because you need to know under these services what these things are. You could probably Google and see if you could figure it out. You could also grab a log file. You could take this log file and send it to somebody if you need help, and they could possibly tell you what something is. In my case, I'm golden because I happen to know for a fact that this was clean when I started, so literally everything in here is a problem quite a few things when you look at what was supposed to be a free program and it had all this bundleware in it or potentially unwanted program pups. This is all the damage it did to my system from one program. So you can see everything is checked by default if you know what you're doing and you've looked everything up. You can actually just go to cleaning and what it'll do is it'll clean everything out of here that it finds and then offer to reboot. So I'm going to hit the clean button real quick and try and get that done and uh, shut the video down before it goes to reboot my machine. So you'll hit the clean button. It's done. It also adds in some tips, which are the same tips we give you at Major Geeks. Um, use a trusted site. Don't click next too fast. You will always slow down, slow down. And if the third-party programs are available, you got to make sure you uncheck them, so on and so forth. It's all good advice. So that's about it. So once I click OK, the screen will probably flicker and want to reboot and that'll be the end of this. So hopefully this helps you if you were told to use this program. Make sure you scan with a complete program like Malwarebytes. Uninstall the program and if you're still having problems then you can bring this program up and see if you have any sort of issues. And there you go. It wants to reboot and we'll be done. Portable app, totally free. Great niche little tool. Check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.